If you want to apply a password to your workbook so nobody can open up your workbook without that password, the first thing you need to do is come up here and click on the Save As button. If you haven't added the Save As button to your Quick Access Toolbar, of course you can always click on the Office Logo button, come down and click on Save As. Because what we need to do is click on the Tools drop down arrow and go to our General Options in order to put a password, in other words a password to open up the workbook. I'll click in that cell right there and type in a password, hit Enter, it'll ask me to retype it. I'll type it in, hit Enter again on the keyboard. And then when I'm finished, be sure to save your work. Click on Save. It'll ask you, do you want to replace and update your existing workbook with those changes or that password? Go ahead and click Yes. Now to test it, I'm going to go ahead and close out of the workbook here and click on the Office Logo button and reopen it. And because it was one of my most recent documents here, it's up at the top. All I have to do is click on that and it automatically opens it up. Well, not without the password, so I'll type it in, hit Enter, and it opens up. Now if I need to update that password, change it or delete it, remove it completely so anybody can open up my workbook, you need to do a Save As again. So click on Save As, Tools to General Options, and then go ahead and delete that. Click OK, click Save. It'll ask you to replace the existing workbook, say yes, and then anybody can open it up without the password. But I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a second layer of security here. You have the password to open the password to modify. Now we know what the password to open means, that they can't open it without the password. I could delete that and just have a password to modify, which means that anybody can open up the workbook, but without a password, all they can do is just read the workbook. They can't make any changes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add both. I have my password to open. Now I'll have my password to modify. So what that's going to do is first ask them if they have the password. They can open it. Second of all, I'll say, look, do you have a password to make any changes? If not, the best you can do is just read it. So I'll go ahead and click OK. It'll ask me to type in the password to modify again to verify it. Hit Enter. Click Save replace the existing workbook with those changes, click Yes. Close out, let's test it again, click on the Office Logo button, come to the most recent document here, and it was Protect Worksheets, click on it. Okay, I've got the first password to open up the workbook, so I'll type it in, hit Enter. It says, well, do you have the second password so you can make changes within the workbook? If not, if I don't remember it, or I can't type it in here, the best I can do is opt out and just choose Read Only. And you can see up at the top it says Read Only as well. Now you can come in here, make changes, and delete things, and type in whatever you want. The security comes in is when you try to save it. When I click Save, it'll say, uh, this is a read-only workbook. The best I can do is, is allow you to rename the workbook so you don't overwrite the original up here. So you can rename it called Protect Worksheets Kurt or just some other name. You just can't save over the original. So if I click OK, it actually tries to do that. It says, look, I'll even help you out. I'll rename it and call it Copy of Protect Worksheets because remember, the original is Protect Worksheets. Now if I don't want to save it as another workbook, but I'm still determined to overwrite the original, you could try to double click on it and it'll ask you, do you want to replace it? You could say yes, but then again the same morning it says, look, I can't do this man, what are you trying to do? So click OK, and then what I need to do is if I want to change all those passwords again, just start all over again, close out, say no, and let's get through those two layers of security here. Go to Protect Worksheets, let's go to Pass, Enter, Password, Enter again. Now I can come up here, click on my Save As, go down to my Tools, General Options, and delete the passwords or modify them. And of course, because I was able to enter into both, I can make changes in the workbook as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete these and then save it and update it. I mean, I want to talk about always create backup and read only recommended, but I don't recommend checking this after you make changes, deleting or updating your passwords because you'll run into problems with that. Okay, so click OK first. We remove the passwords, click Save, replace it to update it. In fact, I'll refresh it completely. I'll close out of Excel completely. Let me open up the workbook again. So I double click to open up Excel, click on the Office logo. It's the most recent document I worked on or workbook. Click on it, opens it up. Now I want to go ahead and show you those two other features. Do Save As. Again, Tools, General Options, the Always Create Backup, and Read Only. First of all, Always Create Backup. When I check this, it does two things. First of all, it's going to create an additional workbook. It's going to name it Backup. So if the name of my workbook here, you can see up at the top is Protect Worksheets, and you can see it right here, Protect Worksheets. It's going to create a second workbook, and it's going to call it Backup Protect Worksheets. Okay. And any time I make changes within the workbook, not the most recent changes, but after I click on Save the second time, where it's a second generation of changes, it'll back up and update that. Because think of it this way. When you go ahead and you make a change and you save it, you already have it right there, so you don't need the backup. But if you make another change, what it does is that it takes that other change, that change you made earlier on, and it backs that up. So you have a second generation of changes within your backup, and then you have the original right there. 
I'll show you more about that in just a minute here. Finally, we'll talk about the read-only recommended, which means that, hey, I'm not applying a password, but when you open the, up the workbook, I'm going to give you a little warning that says, hey, I recommend that you just read this workbook only. You can bypass it and say, no, I want to actually make changes, and it gives you that option. Again, this is a non-password protected uh, read-only recommendation. So go ahead and click OK. Click Save to replace and update those changes and click Yes. And then we'll go ahead and close out and take it for a test drive here. We'll click on the Office logo button, come to Protect Worksheet, and it gives me that warning again. You should only open as a read-only unless you need to save changes to it. Do you want to open it as a read-only so it doesn't accept any of your changes? Again, it gives you that option to say no and bypass it. So up in the uh, title bar, you don't have that read-only option. I can actually make changes, click Save, and overwrite the original. Okay. Close out of the workbook completely because I want to show you that backup. It's in the exercise folder, and there it is, backupworksheet.xlk. My original's right here, protectworksheets.xlsx. Now, if you don't know what these are, they're called extensions. This is what tells the uh, computer what programs to open up these files in. Everything we see here, well, at least for the most part, says to open up in Excel. This one right here has a little icon that looks like a notepad. Well, it is a notepad, and this extension here says open up this program in Notepad. Without these extensions, if you delete them or rename them, the computer's going to say, I don't know what to open this file with. Is it PowerPoint, Project, uh, Word? So if you want to learn more about that, I cover all of it in my Windows Vista Level 1 training video. I talk about uh, how to turn these on so you can see the extensions. Be careful not to delete them and go over some of the precautions there. But assuming that you've watched that, or if you haven't, you may want to watch those. I'm going to go ahead and click off in a blank area, and let's open up the backup to see what it looks like. Double click on it. It'll always have this warning. It says, look, you're trying to open up something that is different than the specified extension. In other words, even Excel has a hard time recognizing this file, but you still want to continue? Go ahead and click Yes. Okay, there's my backup. You see that? Everything looks the same as my original, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and close out of here. Click on the Office logo. See, there's my backup. It's my most recent uh, document. My second most recent was Protect. I'll open that up. Again, it's saying, look, do you want to open this up as a read-only? I'll say no. Now let me go ahead and make some changes. I'll go ahead and type in the number one. Hit enter. Let me go ahead and click save. Close out. And let me go ahead and open up my backup here. And I'll say yes. I want to open up the backup. And no, I don't want it as a read-only. Did it save that change one? Of course not. The reason why is because this is a backup. It does a second generation save. So what that means is that in my original workbook, I have that information. This workbook is just a backup of everything that hasn't changed since that original save. So if I do a second save, if I open up that workbook again, let me close out. Let me go back to my original workbook here, okay? And I don't want to do a read-only. And I type in 2, and I hit Enter, and I do a save. It's going to add and show the second generation save, which was the number 1. How do I know? Let me close out, open up my backup, and say, yes, I want to see it. And say, no, I don't want read-only, and there it is. So if you made some changes and you're like, oh, fudge, I didn't mean to do that, at least you can come back here to a second generational backup where if you didn't click save twice it won't record that in your backup. Let me take it one step further to emphasize my point. Let me go into my protect worksheets and say no, not as read only. So if I click save now, okay, if I click save, it'll record that, okay? So let me close out, let me open it back up, say yes, no, there it is. Now keeping that in mind, now my workbooks both look the same, right? So if I go to my original, here we go. If I go in and I type in 4, and I click Save, and I type in 5, and I click Save, Save, watch what happens when I open up my backup here, which is yes and no. It records everything. Again, it's the second generational save. If you type in something and you save it once, you're not going to see it in your backup. If you click Save again within your same setting, it's going to save everything within your workbook. Okay, since that second save, and that included everything here, my 4 and 5. So again, think of it this way, your backup is your second generational save. So if you work in the workbook of the original, you click save once, you're not going to see it in your backup. You click save twice, within the same setting here, you'll see everything that, that you've made changes to. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.